Does higher interest rates cause home prices to drop? We'll see. This is the weekly report on Major Money Matters. Welcome to Major Money Matters. My name is Major. I'm the host of Major Money Matters. I'm a mortgage broker powered by Edge Home Finance. If this is your first time to the channel, I do encourage you to like, comment, and subscribe because this is the weekly report where we talk about economic factors and how it could be affecting your home buying or your home selling process. All right, this week, let's start off with the charts. Uh, not a lot of action here, a lot of lateral movement. By the way, if you're new to the channel, this is the mortgage-backed security charts. As you see this chart move up or this line move up, that means interest rates are going down. As you see this line go down, that means mortgage rates are going up. And you see a lot of green there, which is very good for mortgage rates, but we're seeing a lot of lateral movement, not a lot of upward, upwardly mobile movement right now. But keep your eye out for this week. This week we have two important reports, the PPI and the CPI, which are letters you really don't care about unless it's measuring inflation. And that's what the producer price index is doing and the consumer price index is also doing. If those numbers come back very favorably, you could see a humongous drop in mortgage rates, probably you know a quarter to a half a point there. So we'll keep an eye on that. All right, let's start with this. Jobless claims came out this week, and this is very humbling. If you're out there looking for a job, I'll tell you that you are not alone. This week we received the jobs report, and this is very much an indicator of an upcoming recession because there are a lot of people that are out there looking for jobs. Jobless claims at its highest point right now in 10 months and this could be a very bad indication for later. You know, last week I told you about what Jeff Bezos was saying, but hey, slow down your big purchases. And this is just a further indicating that a recession is likely coming. In fact, if I throw up this chart, this chart actually shows the uh, predictions of people who are actually economists and looking at all the factors. And this is the recession likelihood. And look at that number already up to 45%. So there's a 45% likelihood that we do see a recession in the next four quarters. So keep your eye out for that. Decrease your spending if you can, because it is likely some tough sledding ahead, depending on your industry. Let's go to our headline story here to answer the question of whether higher interest rates actually brought down home prices. And we know that we saw less sales, less homes, but on a national scale or national level, not in your own individual area, on a national level, did higher interest rates actually bring down home prices? So CoreLogic brought out their home price index report for this week, and the numbers are in for October. Now, keep in mind, October, this is where interest rates are around 65 to 7%. And we could take a look at this and they're telling us that home prices actually on a national level decrease 0.1%. 0.1%. Year over year, still up 10%. So let's look at the chart here. You're seeing where uh, the dark blue areas, Idaho, is where home prices are getting hit the hardest during the pandemic. This is where home prices saw the greatest boom, maybe got a little bit ahead of itself. And now you're starting to see those home prices come down. The blue areas, the blue states are where home prices are seeing only moderate in, uh, increase, maybe five to 10%. The darker the state is red, the more the home prices are actually increasing. So take a look at Florida there, still 20% plus uh, appreciation there. And let's take a look at the chart here that breaks out cities. You see Miami there at 22.6%. Boston still up 5.8, Denver area about 8%, Houston, Houston about 12%. Uh, home growth is still there, home appreciation still there. So interest rate had an effect, but not the effect that people were predicting of you're gonna see a housing crash with higher interest rates. Now we know right now we're on the backside where interest rates are starting to come back down. We are likely to continue to see those interest rates come down as more reports come out that confirm inflation is probably getting more and more under control and we're going to go back into a, a moderate area of interest rates probably in the mid fives last but certainly not least i'm going to post a link to this in the comments if you're a loan officer or you're a realtor or if you're a mortgage broker this is going to be a great time to hear from one of the leaders in our industry barry habib as he talks about what's going to happen in 2023 in housing now 
Barry Habib is not just some guy that's spewing out stuff. He has a proven track record of predicting where interest rates are gonna go, a proven track record of predicting where the housing market is gonna go. He's one of the foremost people that I listen to on the topic, and he's gonna be doing a presentation uh, for me and the other brokers that are part of Edge Home Finance, but this is free. This is free, a free webinar. If you're a realtor, if you're a loan officer, if you're a broker, be sure to tune in. This is gonna be great. January 12th at 10.30 Central Standard Time. It's gonna be a great presentation. Um, and you can get some outlook on where the market is going. Hey, that's it for this week. We're gonna keep an eye on the producer price index numbers coming out and the CPI numbers coming out. That could really be some serious interest rate movers. And if you're shopping for a home, next week could be a perfect time to lock in a great interest rate. See you guys next time on the Weekly Report.